inviting us down and giving us a bit of your time today. So, um, obviously, you've got the, your show tomorrow. So, as a thought, let's let's talk about that. To start off with. Um, do you want to run me through like, some of the fights and, and and what's going on tomorrow? It's a crazy carnival. Another carnival. Another siesta carnival. Two things that don't match. Normally, it's fiesta. My siesta is like a sleepy carnival, but not really. St. Patrick's Day. Though. Yeah, St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. No Irish fighters as well. So. Um, I tell you what it is, it's 16 fights, um, I'd say two thirds of them preliminary match that we already know the winner, but there's a one third which is very exciting, it's Lucy Walhart fighting the uh, Anissa Binion for the IBO Intercontinental title, we saw them today, mm -hmm. Lucy looks sensational yeah. by the way. I saw the man in which you undressed till the pants. Can you say that till pants? I think so. Yeah, well, we put we put it up on uh, YouTube, didn't we, the way inside? So. Yeah. I think, I think, yeah. You couldn't see it, by the way, pretty yeah. much, no, because I was covering it. Yeah, so, um, yeah, they fired up. Will be a good fight. Ludo Malamati fighting. Is that the main event tomorrow? The... No, the main event is Luther Clay against Ashane Clark. Versus Ashane Clark. It's a big rivalry going on because Ashane is from Reading, Luther from Bracknell, but that's nothing to do with geography. In general, mm -hmm. there's a beef that's been going on for a couple of years. They used to spar together, and then Ashane used to come back and tweet saying, Oh, you've been schooled again, and things like that. So it's kind of built up. Yeah, just built up, which is, wasn't true because I was at pretty much at every single sparring. It's a 10 rounder. It's a 10 rounder, first 10 rounder for Luther Clay. I think it's a first 10 rounder for Ashane. Luther just looking at Ashane is like, it's time to eat for pan for Black Panther. You know, it's good, it's good. So, um, so that'll be around 10 o'clock? It will be around 10 o'clock. Yeah, if the stoppage is maybe 9.30, yeah. something like this. Uh, what else there? So I've got the list here. Do I seen your bite of this fight in Ryan Tom's fantastic fight, six rounder. Mm -hmm. And could have been eight rounder really, but because I seen it just coming up the loss and and Ryan really yeah. recently fought yeah, so um, it will be a very competitive fight. And overall, Jelasi Saru fighting this tough Nicaraguan kid, um, Chris Davis fighting Bulgarian kid. Some good international fights would be a nice, very nice night of boxing. I mm -hmm. think not spectacular. But worthy to attend, I'd say. So that's 16 fights, isn't it? So 16 fight. fights starting at about. Um, so, for the yeah. people, tickets are still available? St very limited number of tickets. How, can, how can people get tickets? Uh, you can buy them online still at cstaboxing.com. Uh, Self explanatory, you can go and see the tickets and buy there, and it's like <laughs> £35 standards, £50 VIP ringside. And also, you can buy them on the door. They will be available on the door from midday tomorrow at Bracknell Leisure Centre. And yeah. uh, the first fight is at what, four o'clock? Around four, four o'clock. So people yeah. get yeah. there early. Three thirty, I'd say, just to be safe because it's a long night. Yeah, so that's the situation. And uh, exciting show. I'm a bit tired. That's why I'm not as prompt and. Um, uh, yeah, no. Start, start yeah, yeah. Being... But we've just been speaking about the pressure from the, on the yeah. camera and stuff, so it's okay. But your question was, mm -hmm. yeah, but but I answered about the show, but. Show is exciting, but I'm so tired, that's why I'm not so flamboyant. That's why I wanted to say I'm so tired, that's why I'm not so flamboyant. Um, because honestly, it's a few sleepless nights. We had five pullouts on the week, week of show. On Monday, I found out, I look at the box rack, I called a few matchmakers and stuff. Five preliminary matches that we had, boys got stopped. So you can imagine, yeah? And, and it's very stressful. I'm not the best. Um, I'm not most calm person, let's say. I mean, just kind of Russian, Armenian, whatever it's like. United Colors have been its own fucking feel in me, so I just work like, wow. But we kind of tackled it and everything is good. All 16 fights are on, all cleared by the British Boxing Board. All yeah. happening, fantastic. And um, the inspector from the board asked me today, how did the ticket sales went? I said, we'll see tomorrow. That's the, the only, uh, how do I know? I don't know. They, not, none of them got returned to me today, so tomorrow probably will be a few returns that straight away going on the door and the people can purchase them from the door. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a nice little venue, isn't it? I mean, we're just watching judo, no, what we're talking about. It's a taekwondo accreditation, yeah. like, um, um, what is it, grading, yeah? This is just, this is just so people can see. Taekwondo <laughs> grading. Uh, yeah, so that's 
so it's a, it's a nice little venue. Um, and like you said, the doors open at. Um... Doors are open tomorrow from anything. Oh, doors are open at three o'clock, but you can purchase the tickets from midday and there's a really lovely cafe downstairs you saw it yeah. you can really it's enjoy Bracknell Leisure yeah. Centre it's a beautiful facility yeah. Yeah. fantastic well that's um you know hopefully yeah yeah we we'll look forward to, to yeah. tomorrow night um, definitely definitely